I'm not the biggest fan of Fortnite in general, but I do like the graphic style and after the Unreal Engine 5.1 update, this game looks fantastic. And I have to admit, I'm not an expert at all when it comes to Unreal Engine in general. I actually never heard about features like Nanite, Lumen, Virtual Shadow Maps or Temporal Super Resolution. But to be very honest, at the end it really doesn't matter how you call those features, they just looking great. The only downside is that the new graphical features in the Unreal Engine 5.1 are just present when you play the game in the 60 Hz or 60 FPS mode. I tested the game on the Xbox Series X, but it should be exactly the same on the PlayStation 5. Just disable the 120 Hz output and you're good to go. And if you don't have a 120 Hz option in the game, then this is most likely because maybe your TV does not support 120 Hz or your Xbox and PlayStation 5 are not set to 120 Hertz to support this. But I have to admit, I really had fun during my testing. The new graphical updates, there's a big, big difference compared to the old ones. As you can see on those examples, this is not just a little bit of an improvement, especially the lightning is now on a complete different level. And I found that even with just 60 FPS, I was still good enough for most of the players or enemies but just most of them. But nevertheless, I have to admit also that 120 FPS in any shooter game is my preferred way. But I have a very hard time actually in this game go back to the 120 FPS mode because the graphical differences or disadvantages actually is very, very big. And I'm very interested in seeing what the future holds in terms of the Unreal Engine 5 because seeing an upgrade in a free to play game like that that's actually a big surprise. But on the other hand, it shouldn't be a surprise when you think about that actually Fortnite is the main income for Epic Games. But yeah, on the other hand, we know that nowadays updates, patches, quality control is on a very low level in my opinion. So this again is a big surprise for me because it runs, it looks and it plays fantastic. I never really played Fortnite very serious, but I think after that graphic update, I will give it a try. So the only disadvantage is really, in my opinion, that you can't use the new graphic features in the 120 Hertz or 120 FPS mode. But at the end, we're just talking about a console, not a high end PC, 60 FPS with those graphical updates is still impressive. Okay, my friends, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comment section if you play this game and what you think about the update actually in terms of graphical updates. I mean, gameplay wise, I don't know actually if there was anything changed because as I told you, I'm not the biggest Fortnite player at all. Anyway, that's for me. Thank you very much for watching me. I see you guys next time. Bye.